now time for our children's message. So if there's children in the congregation who'd like to come up somewhere in this front area, if you're not already all here, you're invited. Gayward. <laughs> Gayward. <laughs> that was just me, what? Good morning, you all. Everybody doing good this morning? Y'all looking good. So good to be in church with you. Thank you all for coming and bringing your parents and guardians and grandmas and grandpas and loved ones. I brought y'all something today. But you might not want to get too excited. You can show you what I got. All right. You each get a bar of soap. They've probably never been given a bar of soap before in your life, have you? Just what they put in the bathroom and you just use it, right? Well, this is ivory soap. Mm, it smells good. You know what's special about ivory soap? It'll float. It'll float. And it's 99.4 something percent pure. So it's just soap and air. That's good, right? Because a lot of that stuff they give us has all kinds of ingredients. And we just rub it all over ourselves. <laughs> but you're going to get one of these. But I'm not going to sell you short. You're also going to get dum dum. Dum dum. Now I got your attention. I need to stop and say, by the way, Jesse, will you stand? We have hired Jesse as our new children's coordinator. And I'm going to give her the box at the end so she can distribute as needed. All right? Be safe that way. So why, why all this stuff about soap and being pure and all that? Because in today's message from the Beatitudes, which is in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus is given what we call the Sermon on the Mount. So it's a big one. It's important. It's Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And it's got some of the greatest teaching ever in it. And so there's one that says, Happy are those that do this, that, the other, who meet, who mourn, and all this stuff. But the word is blessed. Blessed are those who. But there's also another word we can use. Happy are those who. But one I want to pick up is happy are the pure in heart. You know what today is in the church? It's a special Sunday. All Saints. It's All Saints Day. Y'all know what that is? We remember those who passed away in the last year. That we miss them. And we want to remember them and keep their memories alive in our hearts and minds. And to thank God for them. And that's what that last hymn we just sang was about. For all the saints and stuff. So what makes a saint a saint? Just be nice to people? There's a lot to it, isn't it? But to be a saint is, I think, to be pure in heart. Not that they were perfect, but, but they knew Jesus. And they wanted to live for Him and serve Him. So they gave their hearts to Jesus. And he cleaned them up, right? Forgave them of their sin. Gave them a bar of ivory soap and said, clean up now. <laughs> That's kind of like what living for Jesus is, right? We have to be good to one another. And be good to Him as we serve Him in this world. So I thank y'all for listening to me now. And I want y'all to be saints. You're growing up to be saints. Who are pure in heart. And the Bible says, blessed are those who are pure in heart. For they're going to see God. How about that? Let's pray. Lord, we thank You so much that we can all be like You and be made pure and clean. So thank You for using, metaphorically, some ivory soap on all of us and help us be more like Jesus. We thank You for all the saints who have gone on before us and for the, the, having a special day to honor their memories. Bless those who have lost their loved ones and are grieving. We pray for them in this time, Lord. Thank you for Jesse and her ministry with the children. Bless them indeed, O oh God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.